Now, we're going to do the part number four. They say answer the questions about Nathaniel. So using this text, this conversation, you're going to answer the questions. Please make a pause, una pausa, make a pause and answer the questions. Then we are going to compare your answers with the ones that I have here. Okay, make a pause. Okay, ready? So let's compare. Here I have the answers. Number one is he can ski, run fast, draw planes on cars, draw por si acaso es dibujar, speak French and English, cook and make cakes. He can't drive or speak Spanish or Portuguese. The pronunciation is Portu, Portuguese, no Portuguese. No, he's not. He wants to be a pilot. He can speak French well because his dad is Canadian. He made a chocolate cake with his grandma. So these are the answers for the questions that you answered before. Compare your answers. If you have any doubts about the vocabulary, notice here you can ask questions in negative form. For example, ¿Por qué no puedes, no puedes ir? Sería, why can't you go? En vez del can, utilizo el auxiliar en negativo y esta la pregunta en negativo. Why can't? ¿Ok? Voy a escribir por si acaso la estructura aquí. Ok, this is the structure. WH, Y. In questions, we commonly use can, but you can use can't. The subject, you, and the verb, go. This complement is optional. You already know that this is optional. So, what can, why can't you go? So this is the structure. Always follow the structures to create your questions or sentences in affirmative or negative form.